Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, I'm Ben. Today I show you how to fix controller tracking problem on Oculus Quest 2 and Rift S. And how to fix most of the controller and tracking problems. Like, share, subscribe and ring the bell to stay up to date. Come find me on my Facebook page, Advanced VR Fair, and use the link in the description to buy your favorite games at discounted prices on instant gaming. And doing so, you will also support the channel. Thank you. How many times have you ever moved your hands while playing in VR and they are not tracked? It can happen in different situations. For example, it can happen when you take your gun from your holster and when you aim, your hands won't go up. Or when you draw the bow, the hands that pull the string lose tracking. Or maybe when you cross your hands, the hand which is hidden by the other one is lost. If you're having one of this problem, don't worry, because on Quest 2 it's perfectly normal. Because the tracking in Quest 2 compared on the Rift S, it's less precise. And maybe this is also the reason for the longer battery life in Oculus Quest 2 controllers. Because maybe in the Rift S controllers, the signal for the tracking are stronger, are more intense, and therefore we have better tracking on Rift S. I would say is almost flawless, but we have a shorter battery life. However, apart from these small differences, although the Quest 2 have less precise tracking, the gaming experience is still enjoyable, you can play without any problems. And those who have a Quest 2, they soon learn how to move their hands and where to keep them, so the tracking is not lost. However, there may be problems that ruins your game experience and totally prevent you from gaming such as hands stuck on middle hair somewhere or your hands start to spin everywhere or, or move wildly. Well, if you have one of these problems, in this video you may find the solution for your problem. Let's start with the simplest solution. Be sure your batteries are charged. Sometimes the charge indicator may tell you that the battery is completely charged or half charged, but still try anyway to change the batteries. If you recently purchased an Oculus Quest 2 and you don't know how to replace battery on controllers, follow this guy to know how to do that. Now, staying on the subject of batteries, if the problem is not the charge, it could be the voltage. Be sure you're using 1.5 volt AA batteries whether you're using disposable or rechargeable batteries. After you verify that the problem is not the charge of the battery, let's talk about the light. Oculus headsets are not able to see in the dark. There's no an headset that is capable to do that, except for the Rift CV1 and for the E-Index, but because they use external infrared bases that can track the controllers and the headset even in the dark. So if you don't have one of these two headsets, you cannot play in the dark. On the other hand, if the light is too intense, the headset having a light sensitive cameras to better track the infrared signal coming from the controllers are very sensitive to the light. That is why I strongly discourage you to play outside with your Quest 2. Not only because the sunlight could burn the screen through the lenses, but it could also damage the cameras irreparably. The ideal use of Oculus Quest 2 is indoor with artificial light. Even if I quiet played with it with an open window and daylight coming from the window, look out daylight, not sunlight, not direct sunlight, I'm talking about daylight. And I also been able to play with a soft light. Therefore, avoid too much bright lights. If you're using incandescent lights, so for example the classic yellow light bulbs, try using cold light LED lamps. And if you're having trouble with cold lights, try setting the tracking frequency from your Oculus app on your phone. And here's how to do it. First, turn on your headset and activate the Bluetooth and GPS on your phone. Then open the Oculus app and make sure you have selected the headset on which you want to change the frequency. Then go to the settings, touch the voice with the display serial number, go into other settings, go into advanced settings 
setting, then touch tracking frequency and try all the three items, automatic, 50 Hz and 70 Hz, and see if one of these voice can solve your problem. Now I will show you how to reconfigure, repair completely your controllers if your headset is not able anymore to track them completely. And you have two ways to do it, using your Oculus app on your phone or using your Oculus app on your PC. This solution applies both for Oculus Quest 2 and Rift S. Let's see first how to do it using your Oculus app on your phone. As before, the Quest 2 must be turned on and on your phone you have to activate Bluetooth and GPS. First, you need to unpair your controllers. So select the headset, go into settings, tap on the item with the serial number of the headset, tap on the controllers, left controller and then touch cancel association. Now go back and repeat this step for the other controller. Once both are unpaired, go back, tap the controller item again and tap pair a new controller. Now tap on the left controller, take the left controller on your hand and hold down the menu key which is the one with the three small lines and the Y key. You have to hold them both until the controller emits three small vibrations. At this point you can release the keys. When pairing continues a light flash on the ring and emit a stronger and longer vibration and you will see a confirmation message on the app. Go back and repeat the step for the right controller. Now the controllers are paired again. Now let's see how to do it from the Oculus app on your PC. Again, turn on your headset, connect the headset to the PC, activate the link connection, and now click on the voice devices on the Oculus app. Again, select the controllers and remove the controllers binding, first for the right one and then for the left one. At this point, if you click on pair device, it will now allow you to pair the controller, but only a joypad. Obviously, this not interest us. So how to re pair the controller again, very simple, disconnect the headset from the PC, turn it off, turn it on again, reconnect it to the PC and reactivate the link cable connection and at this point the controllers will automatically will be paired again. Ok guys, these passages should help you to uh, resolve the most common issues with tracking and controllers for Quest 2 and Rift S. If you haven't solved it, please let me know down in the comments below and we will try to look for another solution together. Ok, thanks for watching, like, share, subscribe and ring the bell to stay up to date. From Ben it's all, see you to the next one and see ya in VR. Ciao ragazzi!